Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We are at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I'm reminded of uh, a time uh, several hundred years ago when the Hasidic movement was just starting. And the opponents, the Miznagdim, the opponents of the Hasidic movement were quite, uh, quite vocal and quite active in their opposition. It's not like one big happy family like we are now. Um, there was real opposition. And um, there was a period when in many places the enemies of the Hasidic movement attacked Rebbe Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev uh, because of you know his manner of conducting services, his manner, uh, manner of uh, uh, teachings, and they did and said all sorts of things to try and harm him. And um, some people wrote to Rabbi uh, Elimelech of Lezhensk, and because they were, they were puzzled, they were confused, and they said, how is it possible for these Miznagdim? These are, these are Jews, these are scholarly Jews, they're not just some bums. They, they're Torah, learned Torah observant people. They're attacking Rabbi Levi Yitzhak with such with such mean-spiritedness. How is how is this possible for a Jew to attack a Jew like that? Rabbi Elimelech uh, Lezhensk replied, Why does this surprise you? This sort of thing has always gone on in the Jewish people. This sinus hinam, this baseless hatred, is what led to the destruction of the Second Temple. Alas for our souls, Rabbi Elimelech of Lezhensk said, alas for our souls. If it was not so, if it was not for this infighting, this self-hatred, this sinus hymn, this baseless hatred and arguing and squabbling, if it wasn't for this, no nation in the whole world could ever subjugate us. And because of our own squabbling, our own hatred, this is what allows others to oppress us. We're, uh, we're constantly fighting. Um, there is a kind of a person on, on either end of the spectrum who takes great delight in um, mocking, deriding, more observant, less observant people uh, who've said uh, the, the ultra-Orthodox, the Hasidim, uh, all these uh, Haredi types, they, they're everything we, the, that we stand against. Really? Everything you stand against? Not Nazis, not white supremacists, not people who want to kill us. Hasidim, they're, they're, your, they're your big enemies? The other way around. People say, oh, those people, you know, that, uh, that uh, so-called shul over there, the church on the hill, yeah, this is Yiddishkeit, this is learning, this is... I am sometimes asked certain questions that would draw me into saying something against one side or another. I usually see it coming. I try my best not to be drawn in. My response is often, there are there is no shortage of people who wish to denigrate and criticize and mock the Jewish people. There's, I don't feel any burning need to join in on the fun. I want to bring us together. I want us to be one, to learn, to draw ourselves closer to Hashem, closer to the commandments, closer to Yiddishkeit. That's what I want. I don't want to get involved in uh, debates and squabbles and name-calling uh, to people. That only uh, serves to weaken us. And as Rabbi Elimelech of Lezhensk said, if it wasn't for this backbiting, this infighting, um, no one could ever defeat us. It is often said that if our enemies really wanted to destroy the Jewish nation, to destroy Israel, leave it alone. Don't do anything. Leave it alone. In 60, 70 years, they destroy themselves. How sadly accurate has shown, that is. Um, 
Let's be aware of it. Um, a very dear friend of mine, uh, very close to me, uh, she says that there are certain people that she hears who lose, who miss no opportunity to, uh, to mock, denigrate, joke about, put down, criticize um, anybody to the right of them. Doesn't matter. Standard, black hat, yeshivish, litvish, Haredi, Hasidish, they couldn't care. If they're more observant, more whatever, they're the object of derision. I'm sure there are people on the other side. I'm happy to say that I don't know any myself, but I'm sure there are, it's because this is a, a national problem we have. Let's be aware of it. This is not merely a Lushan Hora issue. This is not merely an issue of uh, wicked, malicious gossip and sp spreading motzi shemra, spreading lies. This is a national cancer. Um, we are now going on 2,000 years of gullus, of, of, of exile, specifically as a result of sinashim, sinashim, baseless hatred. we got to stop. We're killing ourselves. And uh, I have, uh, quite some time ago, uh, vowed that I will not get sucked into these arguments, not get, not get drawn into these debates. I'm here to try to help and heal and build us up. I'm not here to tear us down. Let's all, let's all make this our goal. Um, lately in the news, there's no shortage of people who want to kill us, who people want to hurt us, who people want us to just die and disappear. Let's not join in on the attack on ourselves. Let's stand up. Let's come together. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.